This is for EE3450 Lab 5. Here we have the initialization for the GPIO. We enable the clock for ports A, D, E, F, G, L, and M. And then we set the output for the pins and their ports. Um, in this lab, we have a uh, matrix keypad and we're gonna be setting um, some pull-up resistors for it. Um, it's port L, pin zero to three. Um, and then we have two open drain for port F, pin three, port G, pin zero, and port L, pin four and five. And then we're gonna be digitally labeling all those pins and ports. This is gonna be for experiments one and two of lab five. Um, experiment one is simply just reading a value off the matrix keypad and experiment two was when a value is pressed and held only one of those values is I'll put it in the character LCD it doesn't continuously um, I'll put the same character over and over again okay so within our main function um, we clear, declare several variables and we start our setup GPIO and then we create our LCD object and connect our data, data EN, RS, RW pins to their ports and pins from the TiVo board. We start the LCD screen and we clear the display. Now, for the while loop, um, we have a couple of values. Um, if CH is star, then we multiply it by 100. If CH is pound, then we reset it I back to zero and clear the screen. And then from here, if it's between zero and nine, um, we're going to be calling our function, with our keypad function, which should be down here. So look up table for the keypad is shown here it's a 2d array x and y's that will be scanning for rows and columns within this code down here um, within this for loop is going to be scanning our rows it's always going to be setting r1 if a pre if something is pressing r1 then it sets the row r1 to zero and all the other bits to logic z which is one um, and then this this logic follows all throughout just with different r's so the second one will be r2 set to zero every other r is set to z then r3 set to zero every other r set to z and then lastly r4 set to zero with everything else back set to z after i'm going to wait 10 milliseconds and then we're going to be checking our columns For the columns, um, it's similar logic to the rows. It's going to be scanning which column is pressed. And if that specific column is pressed combined with that specific row, it's going to be outputting whichever specific value of our 2D array that we have up here. Um, and if no key is pressed, then it just gets out of here done here in this if, st if else statement is for experiment two actually um, this is if the key if you held on the key then it won't just continuously repeat the value this is lab five experiment one and two um, scanning a matrix keypad and interfacing it with the LCD module uh, X for experiment one is simply just detecting which Pa key is pressed from one through nine. Uh, zero pound is reset back to zero or clear, um, and star is multiplied by 100. Uh, and all that will be shown in the LCD module. Mm, and for experiment two, it's simply just if the button was the key was pressed and held continuous ones wouldn't be showing up on the LCD screen just it would detect it once and only input it once and only change when the user 
presses another button. Let's run this. Okay. So one, one, and we'll press two, three. I'm going to clear pound. It's cleared. Um, one, seven, a nine. Clear again. Now I'm going to press five and hold. As you can see, it's just printed once, and it will only change when another button is pressed. So, 